ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థులు విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారము నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలో అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడను కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయాలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ఫ్రీ ఫైనల్ పరీక్షలు వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇన్ క్లాస్ టెన్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ యూ ఆర్ లెర్నింగ్ mean you know in my previous class you learned about mean of ungrouped data i gave you one small example such as collecting the data of march month 31 days temperature in celsius and collecting the data after collecting the data finding the mean of temperature of march month in celsius degrees that's what my question was my small homework was to you to do i hope you all enjoyed doing that now today's part in this class i'm going to teach you how to find the mean for grouped data ungrouped data means data in order data in, in the list it need not be in ascending order or descending order the list of 30 observations list of 10 observations list of 20 observations now i am not going to give you the list it is grouped grouped means what separate groups one group second group third group fourth group fifth group grouped data in group what is the data second group what is the data like that grouped data how to find the mean that is today's class so before i proceed to the class let me tell you let me introduce myself i am yogananda i am teaching for venkanna classes and i recommend that you should watch this video carefully and learn it and at the time when you are doing mathematics when you are learning mathematics when you are in the mathematics class what is the minimum thing what is the first thing you should have you should have a small paper or notebook and pen or pencil note down the new things listen no down work out find the answer this is the learning process in any mathematics class it's not that you should keep quiet just keep your hands on the table and keep learning keep listening to what you are sorry saying it's not that you must pay 100% attention learn grasp the sing- things register things register formula into your brain if needed write down the formula and work out the problem take the dictation of the problem work out the problem in a simple way and find the answer and raise your hand then you will be more happy to learn this is the way you have to learn it's not just looking at board and seeing the board you must learn mathematics by doing not by seeing if by seeing you cannot learn 100% mathematics you have to involve yourself in working out in finding out the calculations simplifying it addition division summing up all these kind of things you must do in the rough work so this is the way you have to learn so by this way you will get good marks good learning is this and in the examination also when you are working out the problems you take the rough right side portion as a rough and write down the rough work carry out the rough work on the right margin don't go to the last page and write and turning the page is time waste 
do not waste time on that whatsoever rough you are doing whatsoever calculations you are doing do it on the right of the problem so that your examiner also will see that if at all any small mistake is there you will not be penalized you will be losing only half mark or one mark for the simple error you are committing whatsoever it may be even if a small error is there you know how to correct it immediately instantly so this is my suggestion to all the students and at the same time i recommend that you will learn make use of this video classes and recommend if at all you are very happy and visit our college visit our college at chintal and tarnaka our college name is k venkanna junior college please do visit along with your parents along with your uh, siblings along with your brothers sisters and be satisfied then take appropriate decision and get well get <coughs> uh, get good teaching in intermediate course and get proper guidance for your future academic career so let us come back to statistics so you are going to learn in statistics mean for grouped data so you are given the data in groups when you are given the data in group grouped data how to find the mean there is a formula directly i am writing the formula here in the right side so afterwards we will do one problem mean is first group midpoint is x1 first group has midpoint say for example first group is 0 to 10 marks what is the midpoint 10 plus 0 by 2 5 so how many what is the number for the first group that is f1 similarly x2 is the second group average or mid value and f2 is the frequency x3 f3 so on xn fn divided by f1 plus f2 plus so on fn i will explain the same formula once again but when you look at the problem in a group data you will understand more clearly then when you look at the formula itself first try to see the formula and i'll write the shortcut also there are n groups what are the groups x1 x2 x3 so on xn what is x1 representing first group mid value x2 stands for second group mid value x3 stands for third group mid value and so on nth group mid value is x what is the frequency of the group f1 first group frequency is f1 second f2 third f3 so on nth fn what is the mean x1 f1 plus x2 f2 plus x3 f3 plus so on plus xn fn the whole total sum divided by sum of the frequencies there is a shortcut formula for this it is represented by sigma xi fi divided by sigma fi where i is equal to 1 2 3 so on n this is the formula just write this formula we will do one problem when we do the problem you will understand more clearly so this is a textbook problem which is given in a telangana state textbook and it is asked in the examination also the marks obtained in mathematics by 30 students of class 10 of certain school are given in tabular form given below find the mean of the marks obtained by the students marks obtained xi the number of students fi this is the tabular form given in the textbook i am just noting down that as it is first xi is 10 how many frequency 1 20 1 37 3 40 4 50 3 is the frequency 
2 is the frequency 60 4 is the frequency 70 4 is the frequency 72 1 is the frequency 80 1 88 2 92 3 95 1 it is also group data but it is not exactly the mid value in a tabular form directly has given xi whether it is the mid value of the group or the same value how many times it is repeated whatsoever it may be 10 how many students got 1 20 how many students got 1 36 how many students got 3 so this is the data of how many students 30 students let us count it 1 plus 3 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 8 12 16 18 21 25 29 25 28 29 30 so 30 students marks are tabulated in terms of xi look at this this group data only a tabular form is given you have to find out the mean in tabular form using the formula shall we start doing the problem yes so to start with you must take a tabular form so, this is the tabular form actually we have to turn the tabular form into marks and <coughs> a frequency in a vertical form and then work out that I will transfer the data into the required one. So, what I do is Hello students myself Sunil Kumar Badal I have done my B.Tech from IIT Kanpur here at K Venkarna classes I teach chemistry. So, Right now I know you all are busy with your board exam preparation, but let me ask you a question. Suppose you want to be a cricketer, who would you choose your coach, a cricketer or a wrestler? Answer is definitely cricketer. So in the same way here, we are the group of ITNs, NITN and doctor. So if you really want to crack or get a seat into IIT, NIT or any top medical colleges, come here and join us. What are you waiting for? Thank you. I will consider that here. First I write marks and the frequency, you can take it as xi, fi. So you have to convert the whole data into this way and find out the required column. So let me take down the working solution, you can put this way marks xi I am writing as if you have to write it in the examination like this that that kind of table is given in the exam you have to find out this way first let me write it once again 10 1 20 1 36 3 40 4 50 3 56 2 60 4 70 4 72 1 80 1 88 2 92 3 95 1 this is the way you have to convert the data into a tabular form. So, this is the total. So, you see the total of fi, sigma fi, I am writing here. Just total this one 1 plus 1, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 4, 18 plus 4, 22 plus 1, 23 plus 1, 24 plus 2, 
26 plus 3, 29 plus 1, 30. Tallied. 30 students marks are given. You have to work out for, you have to find out the mean for 30 students. Fi is given, Xi is given. You must add up one more column. What is the next column? This is very, very important. This is working. F, F i X i or you can write X i F i also. What you have to do? 10 into 1, 10, 20 into 1, 20, 3 into 36, 108, 4 into 40, 160, 3 into 50, 150, 2 into 56, 112, 4 into 60, 240, 4 into 70, 280, 1 into 72, 1 into 80, 2 into 88, 160 plus 16, 176, 3 into 92, 276, 1 into 95, 95. Cross check this once again. Just look at that and cross check. You should get 10, 20, 108, 160, 150, 112, 240, 280, 72, 80, 176, 276, 95. And total this one, you must total all this and see that 17, 79 should come. So, you can just check it up. The grand total is 1779. This is sigma, you can write it here, fi xi. This is sigma fi xi. All of you, once again, look at the table. When you are given the examination, in the examination, you are given a table like this. Look at this. This is the examination question. In this, what is the data? This is examination question. What is the question? Find mean. Find mean. This table is given. In the table, what is that you have? Xi and Fi. What is total of Fi? 30. That means 30 students marks are given. This indicates that one student got 10 marks, one student got 20 marks, three students got 26 marks, 36 marks. That means three students, 36 marks. Totals of three students, how much? 3 into 36, 108. That you can see in the table. 4 into 40 marks, 3 into 50 marks, 2 times 56, 112, 4 times 60. 4 times 70, 1 times 72, 1 times 80, 2 times 88, 3 times 92, 1 times 95. This is like earlier problem, what you did in ungrouped data. What you have to do? In short, you are writing 10, 20, 36, how many times? 3 times. Have you understood? Like this, we are from grouped data to ungrouped data, the last one could be 95. This is tedious procedure. Do not do that. When ungrouped data is given, you have to group, make it into group. But I am just telling you how to understand the problem, how, what you are doing. So, this is added up. When it is summed up, it is nothing but you can see total marks for the first group is 10, total marks for the second group is 20, 20 plus 10, 30. Third group, 3 into 36, 3 into 36 is 108. You can see it here. I am sliding the board again and look showing you the same thing. 36 into 3 is 108. Again 160. 4 students 40 marks each. 3 students 50 marks each. 2 students 56. 4 students 60 marks. 4 students 70 marks. 1 student 72. This is 72. 1 student 80 marks. 2 students 88 marks. 3 students 92 marks, 1 student 95 marks. Total number of students, just to total this one, this is sigma fi. What is the total of the frequency multiplied by x, xi fi? 
So, total of this. So, mean is sigma f i x i divided by sigma f i. You have to memorize this as a formula sigma f i x i by sigma f i. If you do not collect this, do not worry, you can write this in this way also x 1 f 1, x 2 f 2, x 3 f 3. How many values are here? We have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like this. You have how many values? Just add up all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, you have to add all this x 4, x 13, f 13 divided by f 1 plus f 2 plus f 3 plus so on plus f 13. You can write here 10 plus 20 plus 108 plus so on. What is the last one? 95 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus so on plus what is the last one? Again 1. What is the denominator for total? 30. We have already found out the total and this is 1779 you can divide 30 <coughs> 1779 with 30 and you will get the value to be approximately 30 into 60 how much 30 into 60 is 1800 so your value is less than 60 so when you find out it is 59 point i'm just looking at the answer and writing that you can verify it whether this is the correct answer or not 1779 divide it by 30 how many times it will go 5 times 150 27 it will not go you can take 279 9 times 270 you will get 9 as the remainder so put the decimal place put this 0 3 times 90 the remainder is 0 so the answer is 59.3 so note down this this is a very important problem in the examination. I will explain that once again. This is a very important problem which you need to learn and you have to apply it in calculating mean for group data whenever in an examination this kind of question is given. Examination question is in this form. Look at this. Examination question is in this form. And how to work out that in the examination this is the way. Write the marks, write the frequency. This is the tabular form. Horizontal form is now vertical. F i x i multiply it very carefully. Afterwards, add it up. You need not write the formula if you don't remember. Just write mean is equal to 1779 divided by 30. That gives the answer. But writing the formula will fetch more marks. If you write this formula or this formula, what happens is even if something is wrong in this calculation part, even if you are gone somewhere in the calculation part, somewhere in the total part, there is no worry, you may lose half mark or one mark. Directly writing this, writing this and simplifying, dividing, if anything is wrong, you will not be given full marks. Writing the formula is always better. So, write the formula, second formula, substitute the data, simplify the data divide it here as it is required. So, your answer could be around 60 is only a rough calculation. So, what is the mean of the group data given? 59.3. I hope you all enjoyed learning mean of group data. This is a very important examination question. We will continue in our next class.